And for the first time in more than three months, VTA light rail trains are running for the weekday commute. You know, it's been a long transition towards normal operations. This is after that disgruntled VTA employee shot and killed nine co-workers and terrorized hundreds more. NBC Bay Area's Chris Sanchez joins us live from Milpitas this morning with how the first full weekday is going. Chris? Hi there. Well, a lot of folks have been looking forward to the resumption of light rail service, but it has been pretty quiet on this first weekday of service on the rail lines. I have to tell you, the parking lots have been a ghost town. Our VTA is resuming the orange line for now in full between 530 in the morning and midnight. The green line is opening from Civic Center to Old Ironsides from 6 in the morning to 10 at night. The trains are going to run every 20 minutes through 8 o'clock and then every 30 minutes for the rest of the night. Light rail will be free through September 12th. And we talked with some commuters who were happy to see the trains running again almost three months to the day that the murder of nine VTA workers by a co-worker stopped trains on their tracks. Definitely the VTA is a blessing for everybody and the employees are super great. Um, I just wanted to give a big shout out to all the VTA employees and let them know that um, my heart's with them. I was excited to find out that uh, the Milpitas BART was, was finished last year and I was looking forward to taking BART and, and VTA to the office. Now, Niners and Raiders fans were the first passengers to ride on Sunday, getting rides to Levi Stadium from Mountain View's Caltrain Station, the Milpitas Bard Station, and Allen Rock Station in East San Jose. Some bus bridges will remain in place as VTA phases in the rest of the Green Line along with the full Blue Line eventually. Now, some VTA workers tell us that they are not ready to go back to work. Some of them are. Some of them have asked to be reassigned within the agency. In Milpitas, Chris Sanchez, NBC Bay Area News.